Hi guys, hope you're all okay. It's Chantel. Welcome back to my channel. So today what I'm going to show you is my top 10 favourite ever niche and indie fragrances. I done a designer version of this video a little while ago and I've had so many people requesting the niche version. So here it is. These are all fragrances that I absolutely love so, so much and I wear them on quite a regular basis. They're my absolute favourite niche or indie fragrances that I've ever tried. So let's get straight into the video. The first fragrance that I want to show you is by Saint Bath and it's called Vanille West Indies. Now this is the most beautiful straight up vanilla fragrance I've ever ever tried. I really really love the smell of this one. I don't seem to reach for it all the time. It's one that I'd only wear like on special occasions I haven't worn much of it, but I just love the smell of it so, so much. And any time I go into my perfume cabinet, I always, always reach for this and just give it a smell because it smells so, so good. It is straight up rich, luxurious vanilla. It's got a little bit of like a real syrupy sort of vibe to it. It's like a vanilla essence or a vanilla extract. It's just so, so good. It smells absolutely out this world amazing. And if you love vanilla fragrances, this is definitely one of the best I've ever, ever tried. The only thing with this one is it's got a high oil content and the fragrance is quite oily and when you apply it to the skin you can see that little bit of oiliness which I don't mind at all but you couldn't spray this on your clothes it would 100% stay in your clothes but this is amazing smells so so good lasts forever on the skin you don't need too much of it at all I only spray this like twice two little sprays and this really projects and it really lasts on the skin. So yeah, Simp Bath Vanilla West Indies, one of the best vanillas I've ever tried. The next one is not going to surprise you regular viewers because you'll know that I love this one so, so much. It had to be in this video. It's my favourite summer fragrance. I wear it all the time in the summer time and I've worn a lot of it. It's Creed's Virgin Island Water. This is so beautiful. This is just like a tropical getaway, a beautiful, beautiful holiday when you're relaxing on the beach, drinking cocktails. This is a stunning lime and coconut fragrance. And honestly, Every time I smell this one, it just transports us to a beautiful, beautiful island. It's so, so good and very, very wearable, I would say. If you like lime and you like coconut, I don't think you can go wrong with this fragrance. And when it's really, really warm, this is just so, so refreshing. It's uplifting. It's bright and I love a coconut fragrance and this is one of my absolute favourites. Definitely, definitely perfect for the summertime, the high heat. I always take this one on holidays because for me it's just like the most perfect holiday fragrance. So yeah, this one lasts very well on my skin and the projection's beautiful. But I have heard that some people have a little bit of a problem with the longevity of the fragrance. So definitely try it out on your skin and see how it does for you. But for me, this is quite long lasting and just a beautiful pick me up for the summertime. Creed Virgin Island Water, stunning. Then we've got my favourite fragrance from Perfumes de Mali. 
there's so many good ones and i hear loads of people talking about delina delina exclusive but for me the standout fragrance is definitely herod and this one is targeted towards men but for me i think it's just stunning i wear it i think it's very very unisex and it just stands out in the perfumes de Mali range it's so so beautiful this is like a sort of cherry vanilla tobacco fragrance it's so well blended and for me it's one of my favorite ever cherry tobacco fragrances i love a really good tobacco and this is perfect it's so so beautiful again this one lasts a long time on the skin the projections beautiful my husband actually wore this on our wedding day so it holds a lot of really good memories for me every time i smell it it takes us back to me wedding it puts a big smile on my face but i wear it now and we're always arguing about who's gonna wear it because it's just so so gorgeous and i think this is perfect for like date nights evening meals family nights like going out for a meal as a family um just like special occasions it's just such a stunning stunning cherry tobacco and vanilla i love it and that's herod by perfumes de Mali. the next one is a stunning boozy fragrance which i love so so much it's by Panna London and it's Pink Marc de Champagne Truffle. This is out of this world. It's seriously good. It really is. This is your boozy chocolate fragrance. It's so, so rich and just cosy and comforting, but yet so sexy. It's mysterious. It's got like a little bit of a syrupy vibe to it, but it's just like biting in to a chocolate truffle filled with like a boozy centre, like a boozy ganache centre. It's so amazing. And this one is absolutely perfect for this time of year, the festive season. This is just the ultimate special occasion fragrance and i only ever wear it if i'm doing something really special and i just adore it so yeah panna london pink mark de champagne truffle again it is so so long lasting and all of these fragrances that i'm mentioning are really long lasting because that's one the things I really like in a fragrance I like them to be really long lasting and I like them to project as well so yeah love that one the next one is a stunning rose and toffee fragrance it's so beautiful it really is quite feminine this fragrance it's like just so gorgeous and I like to wear it when I'm dressed up and I'm wearing like a nice dress and I'm wanting to feel really, really feminine and put together, it's Martine Mikleff Mon Parfum Crystal. This is stunning. And I've told a whole story on this one before about how this reminds me of my childhood. And it really, really does. Every time I pull the cap off and smell this fragrance, it takes us back to my childhood, which is really, really beautiful. And I love how fragrances can transport you to a certain time or a certain place. I think that's absolutely fantastic. But this is just so gorgeous. The fragrance is beautiful. And so is the bottle. I think these Mikalef bottles are stunning. This fragrance definitely lives up to the bottle it's in. It's just so, so beautiful and sophisticated, put together 
and just an all round amazing amazing fragrance and look at the colour of that juice how stunning is that it's quite rich and elegant and I love it so so much so that's M. Mikalef Man Parfum Crystal stunning I couldn't do a niche video without mentioning one of my favourite favourite niche houses Sergitons and this fragrance is Un Bois Vinyl. I love this one this is the ultimate cosy nighttime fragrance I think it's perfect for the cold months when you're all cosy and warm in the house and it's freezing cold outside the rain's hitting off the windows and you're just feeling warm and cosy and really happy this is like I would say the ultimate woolly jumper fragrance it's warm and it's cosy it's comforting and it's everything I want in a fragrance in the winter time this is a beautiful woody vanilla there's also a licorice note in here which sort of gives it a little bit of an edge but I think this is a stunning stunning vanilla there's not much sweetness in the fragrance but it's so so beautiful and if you like like woody vanillas this is a must try it's so so good there's also a little bit of a nuttiness in there as well which i really really enjoy so yeah that's sergeton's umbra vanilla a stunning stunning woody vanilla the next one is a fragrance that i just fell in love with as soon as i tried it and i got sent a sample of this fragrance and honestly as soon as i sprayed it on i just loved it i really did i don't have anything quite like this fragrance in my collection it's quite different from the usual fragrances i go for it's julieta has a gun lipstick fever this is a stunning, stunning, lipsticky, raspberry fragrance. It does smell like makeup. It smells to me, I say, that it's like a old-fashioned, sort of beautiful, luxurious lipstick. And you're pulling it out on a night out and it's in your stunning leather designer bag and you're popping it on. It just smells like an old-fashioned lipstick. It's so, so beautiful. And I had an amazing day out with, like, my full family. And I wore this. And it takes me back to that day. And I love it even more for that because it was such a special day out. It was just after, like, all the lockdowns and stuff like that so i love it i really do it holds a special place in my heart and i'll always always continue to rebuy this fragrance because i just find it so so good it's an easy wear it's like an easy reach fragrance if i don't know what to wear i go for this one it always smells good it's not too in your face it's not heavy like a lot of my other fragrances I go for, they seem to be quite heavy. This one's a little bit lighter, but it just smells so amazing. You know you're going to smell so good throughout the day. So I love that one. It's Julia Tazagun Lipstick Fever. The next one is an absolute beast. Now, I struggled to choose a fragrance from this house because I love so many of them. It's Aaron Terence Hughes Forbidden. Now, I hummed and hard which one to choose is my absolute favourite, but I definitely think that Forbidden holds a special place in my heart. It's very, very unique. It's got a little bit of a darkness to it. It's mysterious. It's very, very gourmand. Now, if you love gourmand fragrances, you need to check this one out. You really do. It's got cherry bakewell in there. There's chocolate orange. There's a boozy note. 
there's vanilla it's just gorgeous i love this and do you know what i think i'm quite far down this bottle so i'll have to pick up a new one it's one that i'll always always have and it never ever fails it lasts forever on this skin i always get so many compliments from this one and especially from men men seem to really love it my husband loves it as well it's just such a good one definitely definitely unisex so so beautiful it's aaron terence hughes forbidden the next fragrance is perfect for the winter time i think it reminds me of like christmas it really does it's Noir Exquise by La Artisan Perfuma. Now this, to me, is roasted chestnuts on an open fire. There's vanilla in there. There's a little bit of a spiciness. This is just like the perfect fragrance for Christmas Eve, in my opinion. It also reminds me of like... You know, like Christmas fairs and stuff like that, where you get your roasted chestnut. It's so, so beautiful. It reminds me of the festive season. Happy times. And I wore this, I think it was Christmas Eve last year. It was one day really close to Christmas. And we watched films and stuff like that on the telly with the kids. And we had such a good night and we had loads of like party food and we just had like a brilliant, brilliant time. And to me, this is a perfect fragrance for sitting in front of an open fire, just enjoying family time. I love it so, so much. It's such a good one. Again, definitely unisex. So, so beautiful. If you like the sound of like roasted chestnuts, vanilla, little bit of spices. You definitely want to check this. It's so amazing. And I haven't got anything else that's quite like this one. So, so good. Noir Exquise by Le Art Saint Perfumer. And the final fragrance in my top 10 niche fragrances is by Atkinson's. And it's Oud Save the Queen. This is a fragrance I've had for quite a while now and I love it. I don't wear it as much as I should, but I'm definitely going to start wearing my really nice, expensive fragrances that I love so much because I put them in the back of my cupboard for a rainy day. Some of them I do, some of them I just can't resist wearing, but a lot of them i put them to one side for like special occasions or like really exciting times and i've started to realize that every day should be really special and you should always choose a fragrance that you, that you absolutely love and i'm gonna start living by that rule because there's far too many of my fragrances that are in like my top 10 fragrances that I don't reach for as much as I should but this is a beautiful oody fragrance but it's like a really wearable oud it's to me it reminds me of like a grape soda or I always say like a grape sort of ice pop years ago when I was a kid I used to love there was these like really fat ice pops and they were purple and they were grape flavour. Now this reminds me of those a little bit, but it's warm. It's got a real warmness to it, but I think it's so, so beautiful. And this is like a grown up fragrance. This is someone that knows what they want from life. It's very classy and sophisticated. 
and I love it so so much definitely one that I'll always want in my collection that's Adkinson's Oud Save the Queen a beautiful oud for anyone that's not into that oud so much and wants like a starter oud or even if you don't like oud I think you'd like this fragrance so yeah love that one so that's it those are the 10 niche fragrances that i love so so much and these are my top 10 out of any niche and indie fragrances i've ever ever tried i'm also gonna do a version of this video with high-end designer fragrances like yeah mason lancums and your christian duos and stuff like that because i haven't added those into any of me like designer or niche lineup so i'm gonna do that totally separately so give us a big thumbs up if you like this video let me know down in the comments what's your favorite ever niche or indie fragrance because i love to know your guys suggestions also if you're not subscribed to my channel i'd absolutely love it if you would think about doing so and i'll see you all very very soon on the next one bye